evening. One of our region's police forces is urging people to make sure their homes are secure and their presence aren't on display in the run-up to the festive period after a burglary in Hartlepool. Cleveland police were called to ha a house on Furness Street in the Mill House area last Wednesday. Officers say Christmas presents were stolen sometime between 11pm and 1pm the next day. Anyone with information or doorbell footage is asked to get in touch. A fundraiser has been set up to save a 116-year-old music shop in Newcastle. JG Windows in Newcastle Central Arcade opened in 1908, selling instruments, sheet music and vinyl records. Now the company says it can no longer compete with larger online retailers and has made 17 staff redundant. A fundraiser with a target of £500,000 has been set up by the public in an attempt to save the store. An event has taken place showcasing projects at the Premier League funds in our region. More than 150,000 people have benefited from activities funded by the top tier of English football, as Julie Barthelm reports. Football enjoyed by people across ages, language barriers and backgrounds, playing and watching the beautiful game. 1.9 billion people around the world watch the Premier League and that brings wealth and responsibility. At the heart of our responsibility are two things, giving fans great football and inspirational moments on the pitch, and then actually being a fundamental part of community and young people's life and opportunity. I think football is a force for good. It is more than a game. Of course, football can also be a cause of fierce rivalries, but this event at the Newcastle Foundation showcased the work by clubs from the Tees to the Tyne, running programmes for schools, colleges and communities every week. The help our bodies get fitter and fitter. Is it pretty exciting that it's Middlesbrough Football Club that you're involved with? Yes, it's really fabulous. I play football with the foundation right I go upstairs and and I will be right in press, everyone. Nearly £100 million has been invested in the North East by the Premier League to date. Football is a multi-billion pound enterprise, I, I, I think it's safe to say, and it is absolutely right that some of that makes it into our communities. And it's good to see this investment. Premier League Kicks aims to get young people off the streets. Walking football tackles social isolation. I've always enjoyed watching football. Um, and the opportunity to play came along. Um, I really like it. I play at least twice a week. Yeah, I do think it's a great thing because, you know, um, when you play football, it's like a stress release. Everyone's having fun. Everyone's with each other. It's like a community. Only a few get to play in the Premier League, but it claims many more play for fun because of the wealth it shares. Julia Barth from ITV News, Newcastle. Now, a 10-year-old boy from Sunderland is taking the golf world by storm. Joseph Newby got into the sport after finding an abandoned golf club and practising on a field with his dad. He's qualified for a competition in Ireland, which will see him play against some of the best junior golfers in the world. I felt excited, really happy that I'm going there, I'm going there to win. To qualify for the Champions, the Champions is such an achievement, considering he was in an under-12s event at the age of 10, to qualify is an outstanding achievement. We could see from a very um, first initial reaction that he was going to be something very special. Um, we think he's just going to keep growing and getting better and better. Best of luck to Joseph. Now, the tallest living Christmas tree in the UK is on show to the public in Northumberland from today. Lights decorating the 42 metre high giant redwood at Cragside were switched on by the architect George Clark. It took five hours, five people, sorry, and 12 hours to dress the 160 year old tree with more than 2,000 bulbs. We had to work out um, how heavy the lights were because we don't want to damage the branches of this very special tree. Um, we had to hang them uh, vertically instead of round like you would at home, again to protect the branches of the tree. So it's quite an undertaking, it's a feat of engineering really, and that is um, entirely appropriate for Cragside. And the weather's next for you. Good night.